When I say I want, you say pie. I want pie. I want pie. When I say yummy, you say pie. Yummy pie. Yummy pie. That's right. Today we are gonna draw Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go. Ugh, gross. All right. Beast Boy's got some defining features that are gonna make your cartoon look a little more like Beast Boy. First thing that makes him Beast Boy is his square head. Yep. He's got this square head, which isn't really actually a square. It's more of like a, a giant marshmallow. Yummy. His head is almost a square, right? Not quite a square. But like if you could picture a marshmallow jammed between two um, delicious graham crackers. Gross. Now, Beast Boy's eyes, right down, you divide this head up into threes, kind of like that, and kind of that's where his eyes meet up. Beast Boy's got these big, big eyes. Beast Boy. Big Beast Boy eyes. That's a bit better. Let's try that. And then the big pupils. So remember, thirds, right? You want thirds in your eyeballs for Beast Boy. He's also got these pupils here that are about the white spots in the middle of his pupils, like the shine there. That's about a third the size of the pupil itself. But you want these big puppy dog, beast boy kind of eyes, right? Yep. Now his mouth is going to go from one eye to the other. He's got a lot of different mouths. He's pretty versatile. It's my job. You can do like a, ooh, beast boy mouth, right? You know, let's put his nose on first. Beast Boy's nose, he's got this little beastie kind of skeleton nose, right? As soon as you get that nose right, your Beast Boy is going to look like Beast Boy. His mouth's a little bit bigger than his nose, but you've got a lot of different Beast Boy mouth shapes you can do, right? I like to do the big long one with the tooth. It's kind of like a smile, a crooked smile here. Goes from one eye to the other. And get that Beast Boy tooth out there. You know, I don't even know if that tooth is big enough. Let's get it a little bigger. There we go. Our Beast Boy tooth. You gotta get that tooth visible so you can see it. Now, it's starting to look a little more like Beast Boy. We're gonna put his big, thick, bushy, beastie eyebrows on top. There we go, Beast Boy eyebrows. Nice and thick. Very simple eyebrows because he does not pluck these puppies. I am pretty certain from what I know of Beast Boy. All right, so now we got the general face shape. We want to do a hairline. Beast Boy's hairline is a little different than most cartoons because his hairline is always the same. It always starts out over here, comes right across. He's got a point that comes down just about to touch that eyebrow and then goes back up. And then from there, comes straight across to the other side of his head. And now here, he even always, he always, always, just about always has three bits of hair that stick out. This middle one's a little farther than the others, and it comes up and then goes kind of back down here. It's kind of got this wave thing, right? And I don't know if I did it poofy enough here or not. But do a line, take a step back, look at it, and be like, oh, that looks horrible. Gross. And redo it if you want to, right? Not about it uh, looking perfect on your first go. Just start working on it, and then uh, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at doing it, right? Now, Beast Boy's ears... I always find Beast Boy's ears a little tricky. He's got these big, massive, massive ears that are like you come up to like right about here where his mouth line is, and then you come out from the mouth line, and the ears come up almost to the top of the head back here, right? And they come way out. So we got these big flipping ears that come all the way out here. Beast Boy's hairline here. And then this line comes down to help with these big, massive Beast Boy ears. 
And I always have a hard time getting his ears right, so I usually draw it once, maybe twice, and then I give up. Now, if you're looking at your picture, what I can see from mine right now, it looks like his head's too fat. Boo! Boo! I said boo! Here, like he's got a swollen head or something. So I'm gonna shrink up his head on this side. Which isn't that much of a difference. Boo, boo. You don't even know what you're booing yet. But I think it's looking a little better, right? And this is a, this corner's a little too sharp for me too, so I'm gonna cut that corner off a little. Now, we still wanna do the ears. We come up a little bit higher on this side because his head's not perfectly straight. And most of this ear is not showing. So his ear on this side does not need to come out um, as far as the other one, but it does need to come out, so. Here's Beast Boy's ear on this side of his face. Now, there's our Beast Boy face. If you're happy with that, you can stay there or you can do his body on the end of it. His body's pretty simple too. His body's got like, he's got this fat collar. It's about the size of right between his eyes here. He's got a tiny little body. It's about the same size as his head. Is it that your body is too massive for your teeny tiny head, or is it that your head is too teeny tiny for your big fat body? So if his head's this big, his body's gonna come all the way down like this and be about that big. And here's his Beast Boy arm coming out here. Long skinny arms. Now, Beast Boy's got a little buckle. His buckle's kind of, I like drawing Beast Boy's body. He's just got a little circle for his buckle, nothing too complicated. And then these little bits here that kind of come out like that. And there's our Beast Boy belt. He's got a purple line down the center here. And then this is his other arm coming out. And like, if you, I guess you can't see me. If you look at where your hands come out, usually your wrists start around about your belt. So just below his belt, we get our Beast Boy cuffs for his hands. And then actually, he doesn't have bad hands for drawing. All right, there's our Beast Boy for today. Remember, like, take a look at it, see what you don't like, and fix it up, and then draw it over and over and over again. Right now, this hair is driving me crazy. Don't worry. But that's the whole point, right? You draw it, see what you've done wrong, and then improve on it. So the next time you draw it, it looks even better. Hopefully, this Beast Boy looks better in, like, five years from now when I'm drawing him. All things are possible through vegetables, bro. All right. Warm pie. I need a slice.